Hello everyone, Dom here from Esports News UK. I've teamed up with A Gone By AOC to do a series of interviews with UK Fortnite players and personalities ahead of Red Bull contested uh, Fortnite LAN in Scotland. And first up, I'm talking to Mama Benji Fishy, the mother of a pro player, Benji Fishy, uh, about how she became an influencer in her own right with more than half a million followers on Twitch and to ask her about upcoming LANs she's taking part in herself and to get her thoughts on Red Bull contested. Thanks to Aegon by AOC, who are official monitor partner of that event, and hope you enjoy the chat. So yeah, there is uh, some uh, some land tournaments, um, Dreamhack. Yeah. So I went to San Diego, but then I'm off to Dallas to compete, and also Sweden to yeah. try and get one of the spots to go to um, the Gamers Eight in Saudi. Yeah. So that is uh, zero builds. Um, duos um so i'm i'm been working really hard on that so i'm yeah. hoping that i might stand a chance to be able to qualify which would be amazing do, do you have like a, a a regular duos partner or do you partner up with different people so i am having to duo with different partners because right. it's whoever's going to dallas Got you. If so, I mean, so, um, or who was going to San Diego. So, for example, my regular duo didn't go to um, San Diego, so I played with someone called Togo. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, it is a case of finding um, a player who happens to be going to that particular event that, that you can, because it's a, an actual in-game, you know, not an in-game, you can't play remotely, you've got to actually play at the LAN. Yeah. So, Yeah. So do you have your duo? And obviously everyone everyone wants to be able to play. So uh, yes, yeah. for Dallas, I'm now playing with someone called James. Right. And for Sweden, I'm playing with someone called Tensity. So, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, it should be good. We've been practicing and hopefully going to do well. That's, do you know what, Anne? It's been amazing to see your journey. Because you started out as, you know, you, you know, a parent of a pro Fortnite player, but then you've become really embraced by the community and you've embraced them as well. And, you know, you, you signed yeah. to an esports organisation and now you're playing, playing. in tournaments. Yeah, That's no, amazing. I, really need, I get very frustrated that I'm not improving at a the rate that I want to improve at. Yeah. And although I've been playing two years, what I've got to, what everyone keeps reminding me is the fact that I'm coming from a completely uh, start where I've never played any anything at all on a computer. So yeah. most of the kids have, I mean, they start at such a young age, like, you know, three, four, and they're on their phones and sort of like they've got their Xboxes and yeah. Playstations and things. So they, t they take to it much quicker than I do. Whereas... You know, it's it's just going to take me a while. So I I am noticing improvement, but I just get a little bit frustrated that I'm not as good as I want to be yeah. yet. But I what I have to do is use my age and wisdom to be a little bit more strategic. So yeah. you've got to use strategy a bit more. Yeah, um, I have to so, do that as well. Um, that that's working. That's working well, and um, the fact that it's zero builds as opposed to builds the, these particular tournaments, then obviously it's it's a little bit RNG to a certain extent. You know, yeah. um, it someone's not going to be building massive um, towers and sort of like you know triple edit one pumping me sort of thing. So <laughs> it's um, yeah. So we'll see. I'm I'm hopeful we can we can call. Well, good luck. Keep me posted. I'll be Thank following you. your journey. And then, yeah, I guess lastly, your thoughts on Red Bull contested. I mean, for me, it's a bit odd that they've picked Scotland, uh, but it's nice to see an event in Scotland. But it's a long way to go for us uh, Southerners. <laughs> yes, although I I did go up to Edinburgh recently, sort of a few months ago. So it'd be really nice to go back. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and um, actually being able to catch up with so a lot of a lot of people don't necessarily fly all the way to America. So it's really nice for um, the Europeans to see a lot of the catch up with a lot of the European players, etc. Yeah, um, and to actually finally see a um, you know a land tournament in the UK is amazing so there is one more coming up in europe there's the 
um, the, the actual Fortnite Epic event, which is in Denmark right. in October. So I'm going to that as well. So that should be super cool to watch. Oh, lovely. Do you know what? It's a shame that we didn't get the World Cup again. That seems like it was a real one-off. I know it happened pre-pandemic. Would you mm. like to see that return? I mean, I don't follow Fortnite super closely. Maybe Epic have already commented on it. Um, they haven't specifically said anything about it, but I think I th- think what they're doing is more of the smaller land tournaments. And maybe yeah. if they then go well, then who knows? We might might see another World Cup. Yeah, yeah. And then lastly, I know yeah. we spoke a bit uh, before I hit record, but um, Benji Fishy, he's sort of going up the ranks in Valorant, right? Maybe you could give us an update uh, about him. Yeah, so Benji is playing in the Valorant East. Uh, league at the moment uh, with Enterprise uh, Esports. So they're doing really well. They have just uh, uh, qualified through to the playoffs, which is in about 10 days' time. Yeah. I know, I think a bit less than that. And then I think the top four teams of that, um, they play play each other and the winner of that then goes through to the Ascendant League. Right. So I'm hoping that they'll do well. And then all the teams that are in Ascendant, then the winner of that then goes through to the VCT. So there's still a few hurdles to do, but he's he's doing an ama- amazingly at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, his goal is to be there, you know, at the finals of the VCT on stage. So that that is his goal. Yeah, it'll be great but hopefully to see. He'll, he'll, hopefully he'll make it. Well, fingers crossed, yeah, it'd be amazing to see. And um, I, mm. it's funny talking about Benji Fishy because yesterday I broke a story, a big story uh, about UK League of Legends. The uh, World Championship is going to apparently take place in London next year. And, uh, Benji, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he reacted with a, 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 a picture of a guy sort of leaping over a, a sofa as if to s- sit down on the sofa. So I know he used to play mm. league back in the day, right? So maybe he'd be interested in going. Well, no. Funny enough, he actually got invited to go to the MSI uh, oh, okay. last week. So he went there with Charles. Oh, lovely! To see the league, so he went there uh, um, and watched that in London. Yeah. Um. So I think Faker was there. That's right. Whatever. So yeah, he he got to watch it, which was pretty amazing. So he really enjoys uh, League of Legends. So and they used to play it always as you know, when they were a lot younger. Yeah. So, yes, I'm sure if he wasn't doing any other tournaments and was around, he would be 100% there to watch it. Yeah. He used to, I used to, when he was younger, he used to stay up late at night and be watching all those, you know, League of Legends, you know, um, tournaments. And and in some ways, that's what inspired him to be a, um esports player. Yeah, that's, oh, it's amazing to hear. It's a great story. He's obviously had a good journey in esports, as have you. Um, yeah. And just lastly, uh, Anne, you you had a, a a tournament for you, right, a few months ago that sort of coincidentally, like, yeah, coincided that's with right. Mother's Day. Yes, <laughs> that, was, that was incredible. So I was able to have my own Mama Benji Fishy uh, um, Creator Cup. Um, th- thanks to Epic Games, which was an in-game tournament. So I got to play, which is like a lifelong ambition, really, is to play with Benji and Miss Savage. Yeah. Benji and Martin. Um, I mean, it didn't go... To be fair, Benji only loaded up the game just before it started. <laughs> and Martin had been um, away on holiday for two weeks because so, it was the beginning of the season. It was literally almost like the first or second game they'd played. So it maybe didn't go quite as well as we would have liked. But getting the opportunity to be able to have my own in-game cup and play with Benji and Miss Savage was just just unreal, really. Yeah. Very special. That's amazing. And there was a bundle or something, right? Was there That's a... right. I yeah. also have my own locker bundle, which, um, yeah, again, gain insane. I, you know, thank you, Epic Games, for um, giving me the opportunity to be able to have that. But yeah, that that was that, just the whole thing. The whole of was March. It happened in March. Yeah. So it was was insane. Yeah. 
and and it got a good reaction so i'm i'm i hope everyone enjoyed the bundle and liked it amazing um and yeah. uh thanks very much for your time i really appreciate it. is That's there okay. any, anything else you I want to you. add uh no just really good luck to everyone playing in all the various tournaments and the land land events coming up um look forward to seeing you all and um maybe i will end up playing in some of the finals as well ah that's brilliant thanks very much good luck with everything and uh yeah good luck to benji as well thank you yeah. thank you appreciate it